Okay. Okay. Let's get back on it. Okay. Um, so I will give you a definition of energy. Actually, energy is anything that has a capacity to produce a change in matter. So look at the picture. Okay. You will see energy is actually everywhere. For example, cars here. We have the big, um, like beautiful old fashioned red car. Um, it is moving because of the energy from the, from where? Oil. From the oil actually is from gas, right? Are you, are you oh, yeah. actually meaning gas? Okay, but gas is the source of the energy, but the energy is actually from the combustion, uh, motor combustions, like uh, the engines inside of the car. Okay, and then let's look at um, here, the blade of the windmill. Have you ever seen a, a windmill? A plant uh, produce electricity and you see all the like big fin like shapes um, here and uh, um, it moves because of the wind and the wind. Heard where, you heard one, okay. I think it's really magnificent if you see it like in the real life. And, uh, oh, sorry. How about the, the girl here? Why is she why is she jumping, smiling, walking? Guess she has energy from the apple. From the apple, okay, from food. Okay, so human beings have their energy from all kinds of nutrition and the food. Okay, so do you understand that energy is everywhere? Okay, so today we are going to focus like um, what is energy? Okay, that's energy, different kind of energy and where um, do all the energies come from? And what are the different types of energy and what are the key properties of energy? Okay, I think it's a very good topic because once you understood all the theories behind the phenomenon, you'll be able to explain better like all the details happen in lives. Okay, so what is energy? Here are a very official definition of energy and you should always remember, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy can only be transferred from one object to another. Okay, so Edwin, tell me how to explain the sentence. What does it mean? What? How, what? To, how to explain the sentence on the screen? What does it you mean? mean? Explain, explain. Yes, elaborate. How do you understand this sentence? For example, you are a very energetic boy. You have a lot of energy. Okay. Can I just ask you to turn off your energy, to shut down your energy, to totally um, deplete or just drain your energy away? Can I do that? No. No, why not? Actually, you can because when you're sleeping, <laughs> your energy is still moving. Okay, so when, when, when you are sleeping, you have no energy? You still have energy because you're breathing and then your stomach is going up, down, up, down, and up and down. Good, but my energy level at that time should be lower, right? Okay, yep. I still have energy, but it's lower. Good. So you can always remember, I cannot um, ask the energy to disappear because it's always there. Energy can only be transferred from one thing to another. Okay, good. Um, so actually among all the different kinds of energies, we actually get them from two different sources. Anyone knows? Like two different types of energy. Electricity. Mm, and the? I'm not sure of the second one, but I you don't know the second one. Okay, electricity and the other. Okay, how about yeah. gas? Gas. Okay, so there are different. Uh, the only two types: electricity and gas. I know there's the electricity. Mm -hmm. How about fire? How about heat? Oh yeah, heat. Yeah, so it's not really uh, these two kinds, right? Oh, Emma, you turn off your videos. I can't see your cute face. Emma, are you there? 
I said there are two different kinds of energy. Do you know what kind of energies are we talking about? Like what two kinds? Um, maybe electricity. And? And fire. <laughs> electricity and fire. Okay. How about Maggie? Where are, you, where are you, Maggie? Are you there? Do you want to speak up? No? Okay. Okay. So let's see the answer. Um, it might, uh, might be quite different from what you have said before because the two different types are renewable and non-renewable. Okay. Tell me the meaning of renewable. What does renewable mean? Mm, Emma, like, come on. Usable? Renewable. Like um, you can use it over and over. Good, perfect. You can use it over and over again, right? It's always there. Um, it's limitless. It's um, like, okay, always uh, obtain them. And what is non-renewable? Yeah. Non-renewable, I think, means no energy. No energy. <laughs> okay, I think you should focus a little bit on the source. What is non-renewable? Emma, you can say, you don't have to raise your hand. Oh, well, I'm used to it since I'm doing it. Since I usually do that in class. Ah, okay, in normal class, you have to raise your hand because there are a lot of kids, but the, here we only have two of you. So you can speak whenever you want, okay? You don't ask for right. permission. Okay, so. What is non-renewable? Um, like you can't use it over. It's basically mm. the opposite of renewable. Mm, okay, the opposite of new renewable. Okay, so um, I think you're all like great from answering this um, questions. And let's see what types of energies are renewable. Okay. There's sun, the wind, the water, and the earth. Okay, so basically, renewable energies refer to all the limitless, limitless energy sources present in nature. We have, look, we have the sun, mm -hmm. wind. Yeah, because the sun never really goes, like, never really uh -huh. goes down. Uh, it yeah. basically just goes to the other side of the world when the moon comes up. Good, you understand all the orbit of the earth, right? The Earth actually orbits around the sun, so it's always yep. there. It's just moved to a different part of the world. Perfect. Yep. I think you're absolutely correct. Okay, so how about wind? Wind, um, what? Is it it's, always there? Um, it's always yeah, it is, because, uh, yeah. 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 Have you guys ever seen Peppa Pig? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Do you remember in season one, um, uh, Grandpa Pig really likes to take um, Peppa Pig and George to Windy Castle? Uh, really I don't really remember. Okay, it's I, a really I, famous I, I, castle I in Britain. Okay, exactly. You don't remember? Okay. But um, I was, you know, like, actually, there is, like there is a city in the state that we have a nickname for it. It's Windy City. Do you know which know. city is that? Uh, no. But you can you can tell that from the name, it really has a lot of wind in the city. Yep. It's that Chicago. means there's like it's Chicago. a lot of wind going around. Like, Do you like know that? Chicago? Yeah. It's a oh city. yeah, there's the great Chicago. I can never pronounce the state's name. Mm. And then Chicago, yeah. There's like, yeah. Uh, like uh -huh. a big fire. Ah, okay. Uh, big fire in, in Chicago? Street. Yeah. Oh, really? No, not right now, like before. Oh, before. Okay. I just knew like Chicago has a lot of wind and you can always like walk without really, really using your own strength because the wind will push like, you right, all the way when, down when, the street. When, yeah. When and then like there was so much snow you could legit to jump in there and yeah. then like it would cover it would go up to your waist or something i'm like oh geez. okay <laughs> you don't like the snow 
No. Nope, it's too cold. It's too cold. Okay. I used to live in Canada back back like five years ago. I live in a city called Vancouver. I, I live in Canada last year. Well, oh, last oh. last year. Which city? Yeah, we went from um China to Canada to America now. Ah, okay. Do you think Canada is really cold? Yep. <laughs> like、that's、now, you can wear t-shirts like all year. Hmm. So that's why you you like the Cali, right? Okay. So wind is always there. How about water? Water is always there because there's something called the water cycle. Water cycle. Good. Okay. Good. You you already learned the water cycle, the hy hydrology circulation,、mm -hmm. right? Okay. So you want to say something, Edwin? What? Do you want to say something? Because I I see you raise your hand. Yeah, I want to say something about the water. Okay, you can say it. I I think are we on the water or are we on the earth? I kind of let her forgot. Are we? Sorry, I I I didn't get. get are we、name. on the wa? Are we on the part where the water thing is, or are we on the earth? Kind of Definitely on the, the earth. Water part? What do you mean by water part? Oh,、uh, the water、yes. part, like sun, wind, water, earth. I need. Oh. Are we at water or are we at earth? Okay, sorry. He's asking about which one we're talking about. Yeah. Water or earth?、Mm, okay, let's skip the question. Okay, okay. So, how about earth? Look at the pictures here. Do you think earth has a lot of energy inside inside the planet? Yeah. 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 Um. There's, there's lava. Uh, there's lava. Lava. Okay, good. Um, there's also a、uh, oil down here. So like, before some people like they used to like get the oil, and then they used to like sell diamonds and rocks and stuff underground.、Mm, okay, it seems like we have a lot of things under the planet, like beneath the planet. Okay, including energy, because energy is everywhere, right? Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. So these actually these four energies are present in nature, and they can be naturally replenished. So they never ever run out. It's always there. So this is、yeah. renewable energies. Okay. So let's go through them one by one. Okay. Solar energy. Yeah, solar energy. Okay. So um, I think the most typical example is. The solar energy,、um, is your house like using the solar panels on the roof? Oh yeah, that thing. I don't know if we have it.、Uh, um, my house actually has the solar energy panels, and it saved me a lot of money because I can use the power from the solar to generate electricity in order to power my house. My mom、okay. is thinking about switching to Google Fiber because the one we have right now isn't working that well, and it costs so much money. Oh, really? You can like ask her to, to use today.、Mm -hmm. Today, I was using a、uh, you know like how Tustin used Schoology. Uh, not really. Uh, so uh, so this Tustin Unified School District, they use um this. They use this website called Schoology dot com. Okay. And then teachers can post stuff in、mm -hmm. that. And then、uh, my homework was posted, and then like I had to wait like half an hour for it to load. So it's really slow. Yeah, it's probably just like the Wi Fi. Okay, you should definitely suggest your mother to replace all that, so you can have a faster、yeah. Wi Fi. Because you all stay at home right now, still, like you still、yeah. homeschool. Oh, okay, that's really、mm, not really nice, right? Do you miss school? We we went. No, we're having school on Zoom. Oh yeah, on Zoom. Yeah, I know everyone's having school on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, and then、yeah, like、can. before, some of us went back to school, like half of us on Zoom and half of us back in school.、Uh -huh. But then because of the fire, there's like too much smoke around, so then we had to stay all virtual. Oh, okay. 
Hmm, so this year is really um, different. Oh? Okay, we have different mm. kind of situations here. Okay, so solar energy uh, actually uh, come from the sun, right? And reach us as light and heat. We have light, we have heat. For example, because of the solar panels here, we can capture the sunlight and transform into the energy to heat, like heat waters in the house. Okay, so yeah. this one is really easy to understand. Okay. And uh, the next one is alone. Alone. <laughs> Kay tries to pronounce Eolic it. Eolic energy. Good, Edwin. Good for you. It's called eolic. Eolic energy. But basically, it's energy from the wind. Okay. So <laughs> the wind, the wind will drive the the blade to run over, so it can transform the energy from the wind into the electric energy. So next one, next one. Oh, this one. Do you know what, what, is, what is tidal wave? A tidal wave I think means like water, like at the like at the beach. A uh -huh. time water comes and then. Do you know water come and go on the regular pattern? Like in the morning, it might come, and in the evening, it might go. Okay, sorry Crazy. about that. Okay, so tidal wave energy comes from the movement of the sea waves. Okay, so when the tide change from high all the way to the low, like from, do, uh, you can imagine like a large mm -hmm. amount of water drop from a high ground to the low point, it creates a lot of energy. So we can use that energy to generate power. Okay, and next one, let's see. Ooh, what is that? Hydraulic energy. Hydraulic energy, good pronunciation, hydraulic energy. It's actually uh, human made. This is called dam. Dam? Dam, E-A-M. It looks like there's water flowing on it. Yes, it's human made, okay? We use a dam to control the water. Okay, mm -hmm. so the water will fall from a high spot and through the hydraulic factory. So this is actually a hydraulic factory. So when it moves from the mm -hmm. hydraulic factory to the low ground, it can use energy transformed in, into electricity. So is this something like what, what the water gives us, like the energy the water gives us? Yes. So they basically make waves Mm -hmm. So then we, can really. get, get we control the wave. If we use the hydraulic energy, we control the waves. We control when and where we drop the water. But tidal wave energy, we can't control it. It just happens yeah, because yeah. of the nature. But okay. like, do they use this machine to like help them get more waves so then they can get more energy? Yeah, sure. We can mm -hmm. use all kinds of methods to control the water in, in the dam, in the factory. That's interesting. Yeah. And that's a very big industry. Okay. So let's see Looks the like next a... one. Geothermal Jeez. energy. Thermal mm -hmm. energy. Have you ever been to the Yellowstone? Yellowstone? National Park? Oh, yeah. no. no. No, no, no. Okay. I have... Yeah, I think it's, mm -hmm. it's actually in California, right? It's a beautiful, it it's a gigantic, huge national park, but there is a volcano underneath the ground. So there are different kinds of water with colors. And then we oh, have- Wait, it's called the yellow? What? Yellowstone, yeah. Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park, let me search it up. <laughs> Yellowstone um, National Park. I think you have to go there, okay? Yellow... It's beautiful, it's amazing. National Park. Is it um, beautiful? Oh my god, what, what the heck? <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, ask your parents to, to take you there. You will like I can't it. can't really go anywhere right now. My oh, dad yeah. doesn't even ride a bike right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe next year. I think next year will be better. I should okay. put this as my virtual background. It's so pretty. So beautiful. So pretty. This, but, mm -hmm, this is waterfall. But do you see the picture with the colored water, colored lakes? 
The lake has different colors. Like... Okay, because Wait, there's there's bacteria in the water and it will react with all the chemical compound, like chemical stuff in the um, underground. So it will reflect different colors. Isn't there, isn't there a lake that's also sort of like yellowish colored in China? Mm, yes, there is um, kind of similar um, geographic patterns in the I city. I know what it's for. But in I... the area called Jiu Zhai Go. It's really similar. Mm. Mm, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, okay, let's move on. Uh, so all the renewable energies, I think they have their advantages and disadvantages. Can you think of uh, advantages? What's so good about renewable energies? Renewable. The good thing about renewable energy is that they can help us do a lot of stuff. Like we don't need to um, move like a lot of things. They can mm -hmm. help us do a lot of things. Like, mm -hmm. you no, know, we don't have to use a giant rope and do this and do that and do that. The wind is helping us with the energy. Well, good. I mean, if good. you're using a robot, you're not, you're not technically working, so... I said a rope, not a robot. I'm using a rope. What the heck? But the robot actually needs powers, okay? So something is definitely working. It's a rope. R -O -P. R -O -P, okay. So anything else? Any advantages? Um, you can also use them like over and over again. So Good. That Infinity. Energies. Infinity, good, infinity. Okay, let's infinity see. Is like this. First of all, it's limitless. Like safe. Emma said, it's always there. It never run out. And secondly, safe. it's definitely safer. Okay, um, have you ever heard the word nuclear? Nuclear? Yeah. Nuclear. nuclear. Yes. Like yeah. a nuclear weapon means like something that can nuke. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. And it generates a lot of energy, but it is it safe? No. Yeah. No, no, no. They pollute it. It gets gas pollution and a lot of ash of it. If it runs on the ground, it will burn the earth. Yeah. It will kill a lot yeah. of people. Once I heard, um, I think America, mm -hmm. like at World War II or something, dropped like two big nuclear bomb thingy in Japan or was it Korea? Oh, it's Japan. Oh yeah. And then um and then I was there were like all like like twisted and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So it has bad consequences. But with renewable energies we have safe consequences. We don't have to worry about that. Because water, sound and wind it's it's good. Good. Okay. How about the last one, environmentally friendly? Do you think it's good for the environment? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once it's good for environment, we can always use them. Okay. How about because, this one? Uh, mm -hmm. What? This one to um, like, what does it You mean? can't control it. You cannot yeah. control it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, if we both install solar energy, like solar panels, in our houses, do you get more energy or I get more energy? Who knows? More energy. The house gets more energy. No, I actually, I mean, uh, is this, uh, is California gets more solar energy or um, I live in a city called Suzhou. Um, it's actually near Shanghai. Oh, yeah. my mom's from Shanghai. Oh. I heard that one. Really? I, I know that one. Okay. So my city, my city is, isn't always sunny, but California has a lot of sunshine days. So do you and get more energy or do I get more energy? Pretty cold. Pretty cold. California does energy yeah. because of light. Good. California definitely gets more energies. Okay, so I think the first um, and definitely at this vintage, it, it is different by locations. Okay, if oh, we sorry, look at the know. desert, desert has all know. the, it's very hot. So we have a lot mm, of solar no energy. Mm -hmm. Yes. No water. No uh, water energy. Okay, good. But we look at, 
if we go to Canada, extremely cold part of the Canada, we definitely but don't. But there's a lot of water. A lot of water. But we have to heat the ice before it becomes water, right? We still have True. to use the energies to heat them. Okay. Or like, I, I mean, ice melts in your mouth. Randomly because you produce it. energy, because you have a lot of energy inside of your body. Oh, like, wait, I think Happy I know randomly obtained means, like, it goes randomly, like, everywhere. Mm. Mm. Randomly ob ob obtained actually means, I think it actually means that we cannot control them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's, let's think of wind energy like wind power do you think there are wind powers more or less at at night i think there's a lot more than i think there's more because at night stuff and you know more because there's not much people outside there's not a lot of things outside so the wind might have more space mm -hmm. okay okay it's definitely more energies at night because at night there's stronger wind blowing, okay? So it's randomly up to end. We can you say there was another person? I only see four people here. Um, I only see four as well. I don't know, but I think we are really having a good good class. Maggie left, or is it Maggie? Maggie. Maggie. I don't know where she went. Or she... Okay, so let's move on okay um this part might be a little bit uh, difficult to understand but i will try to explain it but it's not really important it's not really in related to the class okay uh first of all you have to know that energy transforms oh i think i kind of mm -hmm. okay i just told you it always transforms from one place to another okay yeah like when i bang a rock on the floor, it makes sound, but it also moves itself. Like after it does that, it breaks apart and then it moves again. Mm -hmm. The energy always moves. It also makes wind. It also makes wind if you throw it hard enough. Yeah, good. It's perfect. For perfect, okay. And the second property is energy is transferred from one object to another. Like okay. this coffee maker. Coffee maker, you have a coffee maker here? Yeah. Okay. You drink coffee? Well, I do not. <laughs> Wait, really? I'm not okay. Okay, but coffee actually okay. provides energies. Okay, you drink water. Yeah, water. Water also provides energies. Okay. And the next one is energy is transported and it can move from one place oh, to another. Oh, a car, a car. Mm. And then my lap and our computer or iPad, whatever. You yeah. Okay. So it can it can be transported. Okay. And it's also um, making it hot everywhere. <laughs> yes. And last one is energy can be stored. Like how can energy be stored? Like inside a light bulb. Do you have the power bank? Do your parents have the power bank and they bring it everywhere? I don't know. A light bulb can a light bulb can store it. Light bulb can store the energy? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I forgot because it kind of makes the light dimmer. Do you have iPad? Yes. Do you, I'm, I'm do you have to? One of do you have to use it always, like connect to the plug, or you can bring it every, everywhere? Well, I mean, my iPad is without battery, so. So battery, yeah. battery can store energy. Oh, battery is stored inside an iPad or computer. Yes. Or inside this thing. Yes, Coffee. everything, like every electronic um, thing has. Thing. Yes. Or water. We have battery. No, water doesn't have batteries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so let's recap. Okay, there are four Actually, properties. you can kind of control it. Is your water inside your water bottle not moving? You can actually... This is you controlling it, not the battery. Are you the battery? <laughs> Can you be charged? Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. Let's recap. So energy transformed. Um, it is transferred. It is transported, and it is stored. These are the four fundamental properties of of energies. Okay. 
Oh, let's go through the man part of the lesson. Okay, so actually it's reading class. I will definitely uh, let you to read something. Oh, so I all... know what all of these words mean, but I Oh, really? Okay. Except for renewable. I can tell you what energy means. Energy means that when you like, like when you eat something, pretend I say this orange. Mm -hmm. And then I peel, I eat it. Mm -hmm. I get, if I don't eat it, then I won't get the energy. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And natural means uh natural uh it's kind of like there's a lot of meanings about it but I'm not really sure okay so there's a question name a natural material that is used in buildings think about it okay that's easy it's rocks or wood ah wood okay stone. good stone that's yeah we stone we, we we carve the stones from the rocks and the mountains or salt oh what salt yeah, there's houses made of salt. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let, let me see. Ah, okay. Pollution means throwing trash everywhere. Like <laughs> orange peel, then I throw it. So what kind of pollution are is this? When you I throw, when you throw the peel? Yeah. Or you can just throw it or plastic bottles everywhere. What kind of pollution? Is that garbage pollution? Yeah. Yeah, garbage pollution. And we have all kinds of pollution, like air pollution. Oh, yeah, right like now. if you, but it's kind of very bad for the animal because they don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. So if they, they'll get sick and if there's no surgery, they die. Mm, good. Okay. And produce means eating so, it. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Energy. Okay. Pollution. Let's just, um, let's just um, look at pollution. Right now, where your state, California, because of the fire, you have very serious what pollution? Uh, garbage pollution. No, because of the fire. Fire pollution. No, there's oh, no gas, fire. gas, 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 gas. No, think about the it. The, um, the thingy, the smell that comes from the uh, smoke and if you so smoke causes what pollution smoke pollution <laughs> it's got air pollution, oh, air pollution. <laughs> <laughs> okay good okay we uh, you you guys have really serious air pollution problems right now okay so let's okay, go let, let's produce that yeah okay produce Wait, is is an orange vitamin c vitamin b or vitamin vitamin, a? vitamin everything Vitamin yes. everything. Like, <laughs> There's all kinds I can of vitamins. The, the vitamin everything and when I eat it. Okay. And when I mean vitamin everything, it means that it has a lot of different kinds of vitamins. But the most typical one is definitely vitamin C. Okay. Um, so there's a question here. What word actually means the same as produce? Any words that have the similar meaning? You consume something. Consume? Yeah. You consume, consume or consume. Like, Actually, I think it's opposite meaning. Oh. Emma, are you there? But you don't consume something. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any words that are similar to, uh, to produce? Produce, um... Uh, Make, make good. That's the typical um, words for produce. Make, generate, create, produce. They all Aging, have the Producing the create. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So there's also renewable, which we have talked about it a lot. Oh, and renewable have, means infinite. Yeah, infinite. Limitless. Like. Electricity is infinite because there's. You cannot really say electricity is uh, infinite. You can say. Uh, Trees are and oranges are, I guess. <laughs> okay, if you say so. How about replace? But uh, replace means when you um like when you don't want something like this pencil and it's broken. 
you pretend I can draw with a new pencil, I can replace it with a new pen. So Emma just said that she all uh, she would always like wanted her pa uh, parents to replace the fiber, the the Wi-Fi, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Is there well, any you can replace like the all like uh wa uh water when your water's dirty, you're gonna replace the water with new water and cleaner water. Mm hmm. Is there anything you really really want to replace right now? Right now, what I want to replace is this, um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Watermelon. Orange with a pear. Any uh, Christmas gift ideas inside of your little mind? Something you want to get? Something you want to replace? No. No? Okay, good for you, because I really want to replace my computer. What? Why? Yeah. Because it's working really oh. slow. Is it just like old? Yeah, it's all kind of. My old. computer. I really is want to like, replace the Wi-Fi. I just got this like <laughs> you know, like like four days ago. Four days ago, I actually got the, my computer the the same year when you were born when Edwin was born. Are Yes. Exactly. Wait, you were. Wait, he was born in 20... 12? 2013, right? No, 12. <laughs> 12? 12. 12. 12. I'm fourth grade, and you're second grade. Yeah. Are you third grade or second grade? Second grade. Wait, what? I was born in 2012. Wait, what? <laughs> How about Emma? 2012. What year were you born? 2011. 12. What? 2012. Okay, now I'm confused. I'm 2012. I'm seven and a half. How old is she? I'm she's nine and a half. Nine and a half. Okay, then that means she's no. 20, 2011. There is one mistake here. You guys said uh, one is seven and a half and the other one is nine and a half, but you were born actually 2011, 2012? Yeah. yeah, but I don't know why I'm seven and a half. My birthday is... December three. December three. Yeah, really April. April. I'm December. So that's why I'm always. Okay, I don't. I, I'm not good at math, so let's skip the the age problem. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to hear it <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay, let's move on to look at the sources. Okay, source is where source. something um, comes from. I forgot. Um, sources is uh what what you use, basically like what you use, what like, you're using. Mm-hmm, okay. What and you can use. So, uh, yeah, no, that's are actually you? resources. Are you, are you, are you, are you trying to say resources? No, I'm, resources, yeah. sources. Resources <laughs> is something you can use. Source is something like where everything comes from. Oh, like a windmill. Yeah. Or the water. Mm, we can make up a sentence here. Um, uh, the, the sources you... The sources... Of knowledge? Yeah, the sources right. you use that are renewable are the renewable sources. <laughs> <laughs> Brain, 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 brain. That's like a town twister. Okay, don't make up sentence like a town twister. Okay. Your brain, um, your brain, your brain. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. The source of the energy is. Oh, sorry. The source of the knowledge is your brain. Um, but I, I really intend to say that the source of the energy. Oh, the source of what? the knowledge is book. What? Books. Yes, yeah, I love books. I read for like two books. hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last uh, word oh, is traditional. Traditional. Oh, traditional means um traditional like your tradition. Mm -hmm. Like your um what you believe in. Like for example, um me and my family we believe in God, mm -hmm. and I think that is not traditional. Well. Well, like traditional, I mean, like, 
like I don't know what the word is. Mm -hmm. I, think I, know, means, I know what this word means. Use. I don't know I how to. I think it means long use. I think it means long use because it said rice and fish. You use rice every day. The fish. Mm -hmm. kind of thing. So, I use noodles. Every day. So food and blah, blah, blah. Traditional is actually something that passed from the uh, from the earlier generation from our ancestors. Oh, like the traditional holidays. Yeah, oh. traditional holiday, traditional. Like festival. some people celebrate um Hanukkah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hol Hanukkah, but not all Holocaust. Okay, you know Holocaust. Oh. Are you Jewish? I'm orange. Okay. Oh, um, okay. So let's know. Like, let's see. Um, traditional is actually something passed from um ancestors and something we should always celebrate. Uh, isn't it called ancestors? What? It's called ancestors, right? Ancestor. Yes. Ancestor. Not okay. ancestor. Okay. So we have go through all the words. Finally, there is a passage. Oh, here. this is gonna be easy read. Ah, yeah, it's not really, um, it's not really that difficult. Okay, so I'm going to invite, invite you guys to read the paragraph for me. Okay, Maybe. how about the first one? Okay, first one, Edwin is going to read, like, uh, the part before the energy today, the title. Can you read? All right, the energy today. Wait, do I start with what do you have? In the yes. What do you have in common with a car in a factory? You both need energy to run. Energy keeps things moving. Mm -hmm. Good. Next paragraph, energy. Emma. You get the energy today. You get your energy from eating healthful food. foods. Most factories, homes, and cars get their energy from fossil fuels. So I what is fossil fuels? Okay. Think about it, but just, you know Emma, fossil, just keep, keep reading. Fossil means something very, 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 very old. Like 60, <laughs> 650 Okay, let's just give a pause and let Emma finish the reading, okay? Finish speaking. Yeah. Coal, petroleum, uh, and petroleum. natural gas. Sorry, petroleum. Petroleum mm -hmm. and natural gas are fossil fuels. They have been the traditional or usual energy sources for more than a century. Usually, today, most of the energy we use in the United States comes from burning fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see what is fossil fuels. No, sure. Wait, fossil fuels? wait, coal, oil, and gas. What is coal? Coal is something that you can lit up fire with. Like when you have like two coals, I think you put a wood all down wood and then you have coal, you smack it together. Where does coal I, come from? Coal comes from underground. So you, is it, is I don't it think you smack it together. Is it renewable or non-renewable? It's non-renewable. Good, think. perfect. It's wow. non-renewable. Okay. It's, because when you, yeah, when you when you just take them all, it disappears. Yeah. Uh, it's so like, there's no, it's not infinity. It's not infinity. It is. Um, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Okay. Okay, just go. Okay. okay. How about oil? Edwin, what is oil? oil? Oil is something that can power cars. Where does oil come from? Oil comes from underground again. Okay. Uh, what do you? What but do you? Oil, use oil, I for? think, doesn't come as water. I think it comes as. I think it comes as rocks, but you need mm -hmm. to listen into liquid. Yeah, we we need to get it from the rocks. Get the oil. So. From the oil. So I think it might be coal. So when you have coal, you need a giant machine to smash it up. Mm-hmm. And we can produce oil from coal. And gas is some, some gas is not good. Some gas is good. Oh, <laughs> not good. The, oh, ca uh, the gas we use to cook is definitely good. Yeah, because if it's not good, then you We cannot use it, right? It's going to be very bad. Yeah, okay. So 
actually these three examples of fossil fuels are all non-renewables. Okay, it means that it may run out. It's not infinite. Well, I guess it evaporates kind of like when it goes out, the fresh air um, or someone sniffs it in. When someone sniffs it in, it disappears. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can say that natural gases can disappear. Okay. When, when, when you Only when you keep on cooking, you keep on coming out and then into someone's body and out. Mm -hmm. Do you know that actually oil, like this, this kind of oil can make a lot of stuff? Do you know all the plastics, all the plastic stuff made from oil? What, what plastic? Like everything you see that is plastic. Do you know the meaning of plastic? Plastic, I think, I'm not pretty sure, but I know what it means. Okay, I will try to explain in Chinese. Plastic is uh, called su liao. Yeah. Su liao, yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay, so plastic actually made from oil, even though they don't look alike. <laughs> so you use them every day and everywhere. But and right now we're already using plastic because, because the computer is plastic. Mm -hmm. So that this is, is this is plastic, yeah. So that is why you cannot throw a water bottle everywhere because it cannot be um, dissolved into, into the earth for a very long time. And because it is made of oil, it's now renewable. Yeah. Like it is infinity use only, it, it can actually use forever and ever and ever, but it depends how you take care of it. But if you don't take good care of it, then it might break very easily. Because when it gets older and older, it gets fragile and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you can never, never use a water bottle for a long time. Always remember yeah. that it's toxic. It will, it will damage your health. If you use it for too long. So um, if you kind of use it for like a year or a half a year, you kind of need to throw your water bottle. Mm -hmm. No, oh, yeah. it's not even half oh. a year. It's like a, a couple of days you have to throw them away. You have to recycle, not really throw them away. Yeah, like bottles, um Oh, the plastic water bottles are that, but the water bottles, like the iron water bottles, no. Ah, okay. Okay, good. Emma? Plastic water you, bottles everywhere in this house. Huh? Are, you, are you trying to say anything? Oh, yeah, I was just thinking, I was just saying, yeah, there's a water bottle. The plastic water bottles like you can't you can't you can't pour water pour wa more water into it after you're already like done drinking the original mm -hmm. water mm -hmm. yes never never reuse the plastic water bottle because it's not good or you can you can reuse it if you don't drink it you can just make water and then just throw it around for fun but it's not good. <laughs> not not for I, your not for your body okay after I uh I, okay, I drink the water, on my yeah. I paint it like I cut it in half and I paint it and then I can just use it as a um cute you can, pencil. Good, you can create art from that. But by the way, when you cut it in half, watch out for the sides. It's kind of sharp. Yeah, it, well, like the plastic cut, cut, not paper cut, but it will hurt you. It will okay. hurt you. It will hurt. Yeah, good. Okay, so Edwin, can you please read the, the next paragraph for me? Okay, wait, are we on the book? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But these come from deep under the Earth's surface and they are running out. They cannot be reused once a fossil fuel is gone. It's gone forever, so we need alternate energy sources to replace them. Scientists know that there is no other way to keep our country going and growing, so they are looking for new alternative sources of energy that won't run out, like wind, mm. water, and sun. Good, perfect. You understand absolutely right. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So, okay, um, these are the first part of the passage, and uh, I, I think you all know the meanings, and be, but let's look at the logics behind those words. Okay, so tell me, Edwin, you just read the paragraph. <clears throat> what does energy traditional <clears throat> source mean? So, what? New 
want me to tell you what energy no, is supposed to be? I want you to tell me what kind of logic is behind the words. Let's see one sentence. Um, the last paragraph, uh, the third line, there is a sentence called, once a fossil fuel is gone, it's gone forever. So we need alternative energy sources to replace them. What kind of logic between these two sentences? Once the fossil fuel is gone, it's gone forever. So we need alternative energy sources to place them. To replace the to oil, replace. the fossil fuel? There's no way, there's no way you can replace them. Okay, but we can find alternative ways. Alternative energies. Alternative. What are the logic? Okay, so if you can't think of the uh, logics, I will give you, I will show you, okay? So the logics here is actually cause and effect. What is cause? Oh, cause means you did something like when you um when you did something bad, like when you wanted to drink a piece of coffee, you spilled it and you caused a lot of trouble because you spilled it on the rug. Mm -hmm. But um, here in logic, in the passage, cause means the reason. Cause means the reason. What you did and what you the reason we have to find alternative energy source is because a fossil fuels is gone. When it's gone, it's forever. Because. Yeah, so it's the reason. Okay, how about effect? Effect means your um effect pretend like this coronavirus COVID-19. Someone I think made this, not from bats or something. Mm -hmm. You affected a, a, a lot of people got affected by COVID. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's actually the very meaning of effect. But once it's inside of the logic of the passage, effect means consequences, means outcome. So cause and effect means reason and consequences. Like because, what happened? Yeah, because of the cause, so there is an effect. Does it make sense? Okay, so let's look at the sentence here. Once a fossil fuel is gone, it's, for, it's gone forever. It's a cause. So we need alternative energy sources to replace them. It's the effect. Okay, can you look at other cause and effects here? In the paragraph, are there any cause and effect logic? Yes, fossil fuels? Um, cause and effect, um, the, f because you use, the cause is because you use the fossil fuel, the effect is that the fossil fuel runs out. Mm, Maybe? Not really. Cause effect has some, like, signaling word. If you see because, if you see so, there's definitely the logic of cause and effect. Uh, traditional or usual energy sources for more than a country, century or country. Can you see because and so? No. Because and so. Uh, it's very hard. This is very hard because it's so small. Oh, it's so Never. small? Yeah. But I can't really uh, zoom in, so. Wait, can I go get something so I can see it like? <laughs> Just look at the, the word because or so. so okay, you can got know to stop. Okay, that's bigger. Okay, it's better. <laughs> Did you actually get a magnific magnifying like glass? No. <laughs> wow. Oh, um, do you have in common with the I see so. Where? So, uh, once a fossil fuel is gone, it's gone forever. So you need alternative energy sources to replace them. Good. That's a very good example. Anything else? Oh, um, scientists know that there's, there no is way. no other way to keep our country growing, going and growing. So they are looking for new alternative sources of energy that won't run out. Perfect.
That's very, very fantastic of you. Okay, so this okay, is a very good them. example of, of cause and effect. Okay, when we look at the word because or the word so, it's signaling that the logics between the two sentences are definitely cause and effect. Okay, so if we um, actually, uh, the, the time is up right now, but we have still have uh, the rest part of the, of the passage. And uh, we, as if we continue our lessons, are we going to talk about what is cause and effect and how can we remember all the signaling words of cause and effect? There are, actually, just like the news. There are de definitely tons of words that can use to, to represent a lot of- Okay, don't ask me this question. I do not know what a conjunction in- You don't have to know, I will teach you there, okay? So, um, I will also, if uh, if we don't have time, I will also ask you to um, like write, write something down so we can analyze your sentences, okay? So um, I will leave uh, the passages here. If we ever have a class again, we can continue from uh, the cheaper and cleaner part of the energy, okay? Okay. Okay, Bye. so see you. And I really enjoy talking to you guys. And don't forget my name. My name is what? Oh, uh, Alice, and your Chinese name is uh, Zhou Laoshi. Oh, I'm impressed. Thank you very much. Thank you for remembering my name. Bye bye, Edwin. And bye bye, Emma. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Miss Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.